Begin with a developing story tonight, a controversial ordinance going into effect today in the city of Fresno. This ordinance makes it illegal for anyone to enter a homeless camp cleanup area. The ACLU is suing the city over this, saying it goes against everyone's rights. Our Natalie Vera talking with city leaders today and has more on what this means. Natalie, good evening. Well, I talked to council member Luis Chavez. He says this is about keeping the public safe and away from hazards while crews are cleaning up these encampments. But critics say this is a tactic to keep the public in the dark about how the city is treating the homeless while they're cleaning up these encampments. Beginning on March 31st, anyone who enters a buffer zone during a homeless encampment cleanup in Fresno can face a $250 fine and potential misdemeanor charges. Advocates call the city ordinance unfair. My concern is, is their personal property being thrown away? Um, I've, I've seen blankets being ripped out of people because they didn't move fast enough and it was a blanket that the, the last thing they had from their grandfather. The ordinance was approved back in January. Council members Miguel Arias and Luis Chavez proposed it. Chavez says the city gives people at encampments at least one day notice before a cleanup takes place. He says the new restrictions are about safety. When our crews are out there working, they're oftentimes dealing with hazmat material. He says that includes human waste and used syringes. Chavez says activists are welcome to go to encampments ahead of a cleanup to help people pack and leave. But then once that is cordoned off, we do want to make sure that it's safe for um, the city personnel, the cleaning crew, and more importantly, the folks that might be bystanders. Um, we operate sometimes heavy machinery. But critics say the ordinance prevents advocates and media from watching how the homeless are treated. That's why the ACLU is suing the city. You shouldn't be mad if you're doing everything right. And I just feel that this is a tactic that they're going to use to keep Des and other advocates out of these sweeps. Now, Luis Chavez says people are still welcome to come out to these cleanups and watch or record from afar. Again, as long as they don't go into that buffer zone. However, he says there's no guidelines that uh, pretty much determines what the distance is between those buffer zones and uh, how far back somebody needs to be. He says it'll just be based on whatever is safe for each site. Reporting live here in Fresno, Natalie Vera, KC24 Local News That Matters.